the gradient tool. Now that mixes between foreground and background color. Um, so let's just do that. Let's choose a, a light blue foreground and uh, a darker blue for the background. And then we'll have a, a linear gradient, which is this one up here at the top. You've got a load of different options. So we click drag from top to bottom. Then we go from foreground gently through to background. And you can see what that's going to look like here. You can also do uh, a circular gradient, which uh, will look something like this. There's your foreground, there's your background. Okay, and you can change the size depending on how long the line is that you drag. Um, there's a variety of other gradient options as well uh, for you to choose from and experiment with. Um, and in the preset picker here, you can also choose different colors. So you could go for a sort of more rainbow um, option. Click and drag, so you can create rainbow type shapes as well. Let's drag and make a giant one here. There we go. So you could do these on separate layers if you wanted to have um, different types of gradients mixing together. Um, now the gradient tool shares the toolbar section with the paint bucket tool. Um, not particularly the um, same so um, obviously they've had to decide to put that there. So let's have a look at the um, paint bucket. Um, let's just create a new layer and let's make a, a circle here. Let's choose um, a marquee tool and let's just fill that in using the paint bucket. Um, we'll fill that with another color altogether. Let's go for um, a sort of orangey color here. Okay, so just click on the paint bucket and that will flood fill whatever you happen to pop it in. Okay, so that's the, um, the paint bucket tool and the gradient tool.